Alright. Um, I essentially just wanted to show a couple things that I've been working on in my uh, free time. Um, I've, seen, I've seen a couple videos with TechHit where uh, they actually utilize ComputerCraft to make a machine similar to this where you basically type in the console um, uh, program, send or get items and I like that idea. I really think that's a really cool idea because with that you could actually have just a console on a chest and you just send and receive information and get the minerals you want exactly right away. My problem with it though is since you can't communicate with the barrels to find out how much they have inside of them, there's no real point to have uh, to send anything with the console itself. It's just pointless because it should be if you want to auto sort everything, just throw it in the chest and you're good to go. And if you're not, that's it. I just want it to store a bunch of a bunch of stuff at once, and then if I want to get it. I should be able to get it right away. So I took that design and looked at the code and it was pretty simple and uh, I just kind of reworked it for what I wanted and uh, I came up with a solution. I used pneumatic tubes with a red power timer going off at about uh, half a second. Um, I believe the transposer can work up to about uh, 0.4 seconds and then it starts uh, screwing up. But um, <laughs> Basically, anything you throw into here will automatically get uh, thrown into the pneumatic tubes, and each of these are connected to a filter. And the filter, of course, only corresponds with the uh, barrel, so copper ingots, uh, copper filter. Um, and on the bottom is the transposer, which uh, takes material out and feeds it into the receive chest when you type in the console. And the transposers are powered by the uh, computer craft cable. Uh, computer craft uh, console with bundled cables and you can expand this as much as you want you could actually add multiple sides to the uh, console so you can actually control up to however many insulated cable colors there are so it's easily expandable and the other neat thing about this is is uh, instead of just one barrel you can actually have multiple barrels thanks to having a router if you just put the router right after the uh, pneumatic tubes right here and replace this barrel with the router and then have uh, barrels down below. You can have essentially a wall of just one material um, and with the router you can actually just suck on materials in and out easily. Uh, sorry, I'm drinking some coffee, but uh, um, it's, I guess let's just give it a try because it's not hard to use. Um, so let's get some gold ingots iron ingots I really wish I could select all but copper ingots uh, of course there's three different mods so I'm not sure which one's which and just for demonstration purposes I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, some stone I guess some cobblestone now at the end since I've never really used these restriction tubes I didn't know what they were but actually the way this works I don't need any painted uh, pneumatic tubes it simply goes along the line. If none of the uh, filters match up with what's being sent, it automatically goes by default to the restriction tube. And the restriction tube is basically a tube that says if there are no matches or the destination is full, go here. So that's a good uh, last resort if anything goes wrong. Um, so basically all I have to do is I'm just going to throw in eight of each material. So, we have iron going into iron, gold going into gold, and then lastly copper going into copper. Let's see, and works pretty well. Now, what happens, like say, if you throw in a material that doesn't match, like cobblestone or stone? Um, basically, it's just going to go along the line, and since it doesn't match any of the uh, filters, it's going to go straight to the restriction tube. So let's see. And that's pretty much it. And it works surprisingly well. The only thing I don't like about using transposers and um, 
other things is that in order to get materials out with a transposer they have to be powered by uh, redstone and what sucks about this is uh, you have to have basically a timer going on and off constantly um, now I'm sure I could use probably uh, two different chests or something or some other whatever thing with a uh, pipes with a auto arctic great gate or whatever so it pulses automatically but it's saying it's just way too much effort but whatever so say if I want to uh, retrieve some of these materials so basically I just go to the console type in I want iron and I want I don't know let's just use eight and you'll see it'll actually send a pulse uh, for one tenth of a second it will be on and then the last half of a second it'll be off. This is to make it pulse very fast. If you just have it pulse like uh, two quarters of a second for on and off state, it actually delays more. So let's uh, let's try copper. Let's get I don't know twelve, no, not hundred twelve. Now the one problem with this whole setup is if any of these barrels are empty, um, as far as I know, there's no way to find out if that material um, is actually empty. So. I'm not. I'm just not sure how to find that out. Um, as far as I know, there's no way to interact with these and the barrels to find out how much there is, unless you do something really convoluted. It's really annoying and not even worth it. So um, basically, the best way to do it is if you aren't getting materials, it's probably time to refill that barrel. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So basically, all you'd have to do to actually get these setups to work with multiple barrels is just have a router at the top and a router at the bottom, from one for an inserting and one for extracting and that's pretty much all there is to it all you need is a filter router barrel and I'd post the code to this but I mistakenly made the startup script a uh, what's it called an indefinite loop which apparently I can't cancel which I think is kind of retarded because I can cancel any other indefinite loop but whatever it doesn't matter that program's not very hard to write assuming you know basic logic and there's another video with the same thing it's just a little bit different. Mine's just a little bit simpler because I used a uh, an I, uh, API by someone that actually simplifies the interaction with the bundled cables. So instead of having to write these obnoxiously long uh, numbers and things, I just basically assign one material with a color in the array instead of a number, um, which makes it significantly easier. And significant and the API also has a bunch of uh, nice little functions for toggling things and whatnot it's, it's just so much easier um, I would highly recommend I, think, I believe the API is called output and it's on the computer craft forums but anyway that's pretty much it I just wanted to show it off because so far I think it works great and it's probably a really good solution if you want to just use a computer to actually grab your materials really easy but anyway I guess thanks for watching.